good morning friends all of you i think you are well aware of the contempts of courts act 1973 contempts of court so you are know court is a place where the justice is delivered and wherever the judge sits it is deemed to be a court so we told you that tihar jail also can become a court and very recently in that uh, one hour rape case uh, the hospital has become the court because she was staying in the hospital she could not come out of the hospital so you are well aware about the court contempt of court contempt of court means really please remember any act any action which disrupts the proceedings of the court secondly any disobedience to the orders of the court they will be taken as contempt of the court of course is a very simple act where uh, the normally here also you remember i don't want to reiterate under the sections i want to tell you suppose uh, normally this will be contempt will be taken against uh, the advocates and also sometimes the judicial officers of course you are well aware that both of you, both is a category is are well educated and therefore whenever such incident comes to the notice of the court uh, normally what they do is um, uh, they will see that the uh, contempt contempt player the contaminator contaminer contaminer apologizes to the court when once he apologizes court normally they will draw further action same thing happened in karnataka so <coughs> what happened is on december 16th 2019 maybe about uh, one of months back the tabloid newspaper deccan herald it published a scathe uh, news item with headlines in his front page stating that the house of its civil civil court judge was raided by the vigilance wing of the high court and they found 9 crores of rupees with him and normally they are going to take up the matter to issue the matter to the chief justice of the karnataka state and uh, btv and uh, this is now media btv channel they have uh, uh, actually they have <coughs> exploited the same and they have shown some uh, counting of notes all these things so the court got shocked about the incident and it also is noticed in the tv5 digijay tv and other tabloids also some paper they stated that uh, about 48 judges in the court in the high court and also in the dv court uh, they are facing the so called corruption charges and they were asked by the high court uh, to tender or uh, to terminate their services and 24 of them opted for voluntary retirement this is the news see how uh, strong the news is normally is it not derogatory is it not defamatory is it not degrading the judiciary and keeping it the morale of the judiciary at a lower stage certainly so if it is a fact we can't do anything but when it is not fact definitely the high court of karnataka took it very seriously so the chief justice abhay srinivas okha and another judge pradeep singh error they took up the matter su mota and issued notice to the all these tabloids media channels all these things you are well aware su mota means by itself on seeing the news so nobody need complain on itself they have taken action they asked the registry to send notices to the concerned people under the contempts of court act right normally you are well aware that these press people they have got only self regulating mechanism and they will be under the impression that nobody can do anything to them they can write whatever they like but here if such instances come if some civil cases are filed then only they will realize the ground reality please remember whether he is a press man or everybody but he has to get the authentic information at the same time he has to ask the other party against whom the news is going to publish it about his comments then only he has to write the news uh, because they want to make it sensational normally the press people of course we also know they want to make it sensational they publish the news without the uh, other side uh, version or veracity 
because we are all well aware that today's news is tomorrow's trash. Nobody is interested in yesterday's news. So something they want to hit the headline, therefore they publish it. Now they are caught. Then once the notices were given from the Registrar General of Karnataka High Court, then these people got fumbled and the editors, they started verifying the matter and ultimately they came to know. Tekken Herald has openly apologized, stating that the matter has been inquired by the editor and it is learned that this has come from an anonymous source. So without verification, they have done it. Now they have apologized. I have now, to the surprise of anybody, the everybody, the Karnataka High Court has slammed 73 lakhs as compensation, as penalty to the newspapers and also tabloids. Of course, TV 5, 5 lakhs, Dikijay 10 lakhs, like that. 30 lakhs to this Deccan Herald paper. So, they are ready and they are supposed to pay the amount within 8 weeks or so. Now, they have apologized openly. Please remember, this is number one. This can amount to defamation and also since it is a court act, it has gone to the level of the contempt of the court act. Please remember, while commenting on the judges or judicial because that system, we believe in the justice system. We think we give, why we give so much of sanctity to the chair of judicial master even though that he is a boy of 25 or 30 years, we give much importance to him because of the chair or because of the sanctity that justice will be delivered from that seat. But uh, you can't uh, derogate them, you cannot downgrade them, uh, thereby the people think, oh, all the judges are like this, they are all corrupt fellows, there are so many corrupt fellows, so, so much of uh, amount have been amassed by them, therefore they are giving these type of judgments, uh, so that means uh, they become cheap in the eye of the general public. Therefore, they took it seriously and after having given notices, uh, these people came down and apologized openly and therefore they wanted to drop the matter. But they have imposed a penalty. Of course, uh, the Deccan Herald uh, has gone to the extent of uh, conducting an inquiry into the incident by a retired judge as to how this happened, who are the reporters, how they could come to know the information, all these things, an inquiry also will be conducted. Anyway, please remember, it is a good case for success in the judiciary because they wanted to demoralize the decision categorically. Actually, they wanted to kill the judiciary by such anonymous information. Now, the High Court of Karnataka, they have also given certain guidelines to the reporters. So they have stated, uh, they have given instructions to the press people, to the media people, that the reporters who are accredited to cover the legal news, first of all, they should be well versed with the legal procedures. They should know the basics of law. They should know what to report and what not to report. They should know what is a exploding news and what is the ordinary news. They should understand the judiciary. And also by liquidation, the Press Council of India should also uh, conduct uh, the so-called Viva OC uh, to the people and see that they report the matters promptly, what to report and what not to report. Otherwise, uh, so because uh, in the view of creating sensation, they will be giving such a news, nuisance, a news uh, which create a nuisance and also normally it uh, demeans or degrades uh, the judges. Please remember, these are the important points. Of course, uh, this will be a lesson for those who make uh, scandalous allegations against the judiciary. Ultimately, this was the uh, conclusion. Please remember, this is a good case of uh, contempt to the court proceedings. Thank you very much.